Hi everybody, thank you for tuning in for another installment of Brass Things Review for uh, Full Bars Rest. My name is Jonathan Pippin and I'm here today to show you some practice mutes. Uh, these mutes are um, designed to uh, make the trombone as quiet as possible for those of you who know what a practice mute is. Um, apologies uh, for patronising you for a moment, but these mutes are designed to make the instrument as quiet as possible so that you can practice in your flat or in your house or warming up before band or before an orchestra rehearsal or before your trombone lesson in the corridor um, without making much noise. It's impossible to be silent, of course, but that's what these are for. So um, these mutes, uh, there's a lot of fuss going on online about them. Lots of people are raving about them, um, lots of my colleagues. So I thought I would ask for a couple to try and show you here. So. These are called Reggiano mutes. They're made in America. They are um, 3D printed, believe it or not. Even the um, what, what uh, traditionally would have been a cork is the 3D print material as well. Um, and they make uh, three mutes that I can see. They make an alto, which I haven't got for alto trombone. They make a tenor trombone mute and they make a bass trombone mute. Um, as you can hear at the beginning there, where I just played a few little excerpts of some Strauss, this mute is in tune. And when we're considering practice mutes, if we're going to be playing on them a lot, whether they're in tune is important. So the first test that I always do is to just play a note, put the mute in, see if it's the same pitch. So I'm satisfied that that is the same pitch. So one of the things that people are raving about is these, these mutes are so in tune and they definitely are okay um so um as you could hear from that excerpt i played at the beginning from the high register through to the low register uh, the, it, it speaks and it allows you to play in all the registers some practice mutes do end up um sort of backing up when you try and go down into the low register and the intonation can change these mutes are not doing that as you start to play the really low pedals of course there's more resistance than you would have when the trombone's open but you can't help that and through the b flat major from or brass band bottom c to top c absolutely no problems at all um the x i played you at the beginning goes up to a brass band top e and it was absolutely fine um so um satisfied that on tenor trombone this mute is going to be a very handy piece of kit okay um it's very quiet it's in tune it plays great so uh, i was just wondering about bass trombone now i'm a doubling bass trombone player and um, what i found with bass trombone practice mutes is obviously we spend a lot more time in the low register um, and uh, sometimes that can be a problem especially when you start to get around the double plug <laughs> bottom B is very difficult to produce. I mean, it's difficult to produce for me anyway, but it's difficult to produce. This mute, no problem. And as you can hear, it's in tune. Um, for the extreme low pedals, So my articulation's slowing down there. I'm not sure if that's so much the mute or me, but it's good down to a pedal C, no problem at all. Um, it fits in the bell. This this trombone is an Edwards with a 10 and a half inch bell, um, and it fits absolutely no problem in there. It's not touching, it's good. Um, I've got a slightly smaller bass trombone here, which is um, the Yamaha uh, 622. I've taken the second trigger off. It fits in this one absolutely fine as well, as you can see. Okay, so the bass trombone mute absolutely fine in the low register. It's going to behave fine in the high register. Um, how many bass trombone players spend their lives up there? I'm not sure. Um, so the other bonus with this one is that it fits the tenor horn really nicely. So if I just. Uh, Born free. Okay, so um, the bass trombone mute on the Regina website fits the tenor horn 
absolutely fine, okay? So I'm just gonna get my piece of paper with some information that I've learned. So these mutes, you can buy them on the Regiano.com website, okay? Um, they cost 51 pounds and 11 pence plus shipping from America. Um, there are bundles. You can buy the tenor and the bass mute in one bundle for 109 pounds and 54 pence. You can buy the tenor trombone mute, the Nalto mute, which is gonna be a little bit smaller. That's gonna fit a flugelhorn, but it'll certainly be too big for a cornet. Um, uh, I would imagine that it's going to be, it's definitely going to be too small for, for um, anything else in the brass band. So um, the tenor and the alto mute are going to come in at £101.50. Now to give you some kind of idea, a little bit of a comparison, if I just play you a little bit on my small bore tenor, which the mute fits absolutely fine. <laughs> Okay, so if you just take care of the volume there, I'm just gonna do a quick comparison to the Dennis Wick straight mute, which is probably the industry standard, it's certainly the first one I knew. These you can buy for 42 pounds from Gear for Music or 32 pounds from Tommen, okay? Okay, so it's a little bit louder, but something to consider is it's much bigger here, all right? It's a much bigger mute to carry around, all right? But still good, and for that money, you can't argue. This, you can see on this trombone that it, the tenor trombone mute just fits, just comes out of the bell. Now, if you're using a gig bag or a forgiving case, then that's gonna go in fine. Um, I've got a couple of Reunion Blues gig bags and things, and it fits in there. I can even get it into my uh, Marcus Bonner double trombone case it, it fits fine but if you're using a hard case in the style of a con or a bark um, or if you've got a smaller marcus bonner or, or similar um, gig bag it's not going to fit in the case okay which is is a, is a downside but i mean the mute plays in tune it's very quiet i think if there's if the downside is that it plays in tune then i think you've just got to carry it around the thing is you could play this mute you could practice on this mute a lot and it wouldn't negatively affect any aspect of your playing that's how i feel about it having used it for a month or so um so there we go so you can get different colors um uh, for, you can get different colors for the corks um important for some people but um that's it it's the Reggiano uh, practice mute um you can get them from reggianomutes.com um and they come in at, at just a smidge over 50 pounds each i really like it i thoroughly recommend it especially for playing born free on the tenor hall. Thanks very much for listening. Thank you to those who took the time to make comments after my last review. I bought a quieter chair. I hope that's good. I hope that satisfied you. Any constructive criticism, please give it. Thanks very much. See you next time.